Hi guys, welcome to this uh, quick tip on uh, heating pipelines. My name is Kaya Maya, and this quick tip is about what's better to use, above ground heating pipes or underground uh, heat, he he heating pipes. So I put this a little bit to the test. We have a heating, uh, a, a big heating uh, plant here, which is uh, fully operating at uh, 90 degrees. And I have two exchangers here. Left is the above ground, right is the underground exchange. And two This exchanger, this uh, flat is connected and to this ex exchanger, this flat, the these consume a lot of heat. So um, I'm going to the above ground op opening and the underground. And here we can already see that above ground, the, the temperature is not as, as, as hot as the underground. It's marginally, right? But in winter, uh, it saves a lot of, um, how do you say this, the internal temperature. Let me show you that. Uh, it's a big difference, and especially in winter. So uh, now you can already see here is 21.6. And why don't you show me? And here is 24. I, I, I don't know how to like so. Here you see 21.6 and 24, which is a big difference, but it's only minus two. So let, let's kind of skip to, uh, to winter a bit. Uh, new day, go play. Here and uh, go, uh, go cold. Yes, hurry up. Here, cold. Now you can see it's 14 degrees here and 21.6 there. I would rather live here. When you see the uh, heat exchange, you, you, you can see it's almost this, but if you have the more buildings you have, and now it's only 63 percent uh, the capacity is used uh, to me that's a big difference um, so um, these people will survive but they will they won't be as happy as these people so uh, and then the question is what do these pipelines cost well for that I need to remove them so that's what I'm going to do um, remove you you and uh, uh, you thank you then i have to recreate them a little bit uh underground heating pipeline you connect oh sorry the wrong and i'm going to connect them in two phases because other otherwise it, uh, the game creates weird angles um, mm -hmm. here okay so um One above ground, one underground. So, I do I have one? This is a whole piece, yes. And this is only. Oh, that's a shame. Is this a whole? No, we both have almost everything, so we it, we can compare it, right? Okay. So, what's the difference? Um, this one is are the uh, underground, and these are the above ground. What? I mostly see is uh, the above ground have uh, way less work days, but the the most change is that uh, the underground has some board, some concrete, and some gravel. But that's those are not the costs, right? So the only difference I see is this really needs crane. And if, if you if you want to watch how cranes work, I, I have a quick tip on that uh, about how this how this this this. Uh, speed level isn't actually the speed level so uh yeah for me th this change in heating would definitely uh, uh make up for the fact that it, it's just a bit at more expensive work days wise especially if, if you have your own people so i'm going above ground again and then let's uh let's uh keep you going um so that was my quick tip i hope it was a little bit useful uh that you maybe in the, in the future you uh decide uh, the underground heating pipeline is mostly more expensive by work days but it differs a lot and here it's it's, it's nice 23.5 and here it's cold it's just cold here thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this quick tip quick tip bye bye